morning. This is the car we've got as of the 24th of April 2022 and it's a Lincoln Nautilus and what that is is the up-spec version of the Ford Edge. So what Infiniti is to Nissan is basically what Lincoln is to Ford and it's got the full leather interior this model's got a 2 litre turbo engine putting out 250 brake horsepower. They do do a V6 version, I think it's with another 100 brake horsepower, which is four wheel drive. This model is front wheel drive. Really comfortable car, it's as comfortable as a Tahoe, really, really quiet. It really is a lovely, lovely motor vehicle. But as I've said, this one is not four wheel drive, so if you want to do some dirt tracking or go somewhere where you want to take some pictures out of the ordinary, I would not recommend it. Sat nav, full length panoramic sunroof, keyless, air conditioned seats, it's got everything on it and it really is a lovely car. So if you're hiring a car in the States, and you get offered a Lincoln Nautilus, you are not going to be disappointed. Really roomy, lovely, lovely motor car. What I will say about it is, it's not as economical as a Chevrolet Tahoe on the freeway. On the freeway, a Tahoe goes down to four cylinders and you're seeing 45, 55 to the gallon. This hovers around 26, 30 to the gallon all the time. And to be honest, turbo four-cylinder petrol engines, I have not found that economical. We had Rover 75 1.8 turbos, and they weren't the most economical either. Anyway, getting back to the point, the Lincoln Nautilus, fantastic car, and if you're offered one of these, do not turn it down. Thank you for watching. Thank you. One of the quirks with these, this car now you'll see, if Susan walks up to the car and opens the door and closes it and you'll see these lights come on and what they are is if you leave your keys in the car you can have a note, say you're going swimming and you don't want to take your keys you can leave your keys in the car, lock it and you touch the numbers like a keypad I'm not going to tell you the number and you can open the car without using your keys so it's like a safe which is quite a nice little quirk. Thank you. Here is the interior, obviously, of the Lincoln Nautilus, and it's pretty much set piece. The only thing that is a bit different is to open the glove box, you've got a uh, button, but you can see you've got the normal nav, you've got the screen, steering wheel, set piece controls, cruise control. Turn right now. Hopefully you can hear. It's pretty quiet. We're at the town of, I can't remember where we are, where are we? Barstow. Barstow, which has 123% more crime than any other place in America. But you can hear this car. It's a pleasant drive, thank you. Okay, with this Lincoln Nautilus, we couldn't figure out how to lock the car keyless. Now with General Motors, you've got a little chrome button. Anyway, through looking in the manual online on the computer, this is how you lock it when you're keyless. Can you just show us, Susan? That's it. Now I'll try and open it. Stand back, because Susan's got the key. And open it. Show how you open it. And lock it again. It's a little ridge. Little ridge. Now, this is why I say, if you hire a car, find out the year, go online, look at the owner's manual, because you can barely see that, in certain lights you can barely see it and if you haven't got a Ford or a Lincoln you don't know especially in the UK 
thank you for watching and I hope this has been of help. Thank you.